Hey guys, welcome back. This is Earl Cameron, and um, I'm exploring ChatGPT, a uh, crazy new um, AI model from OpenAI. Um, this thing is is a billion dollar um, product. This is this is crazy. This is disrupt disruptive. This is crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go over. Um, some basic use cases um, of you know in the database uh, with ChatGPT and how it, uh, how it can probably change the game. All right. Okay, so let's let's do some basic things, right? So we're gonna start with SQL. We're gonna say uh, create a SQL table that stores. Username and what? Give me something slow. Uh, so it's a username and what do you store? Username and role. All right, so really simple. All right, um, add a new, add a ID as a primary key so we can. Um, <laughs> All right, so it's giving us how to use it. Great. So we're going to add an ID as a primary key to the users table. And let's see, the next table we're going to create is a, a, create a table that stores, uh, movie. Wow, all right, very chatty, very chatty. Create a table that stores movie details. I do create a table that stores that um, stores. Movies that a user owns. All right, very chatty, very chatty. All right, so it's good giving examples uh, and explanations of everything. Perfect. It's uh, this would be great as a um, as a tutor, effectively. Imagine this AI introducing you to a new code base uh, as a part of your onboarding process for your your new tech job. Um, that alone is a multi-million dollar idea. Okay, so populate all three tables with ten examples. Wow. Wow, all different names. Great. Are all going to be? Okay, one's an admin. All right. This is stochasticity, randomness. Great. The Shawshank Redemption, The Godfather. Wow, okay. Great, great, great. The Godfather Part 2. 
Wow. This is this is excellent. The Dark Knight. Wow. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed by the examples. <coughs> The good, the bad, and the ugly. I can, I can, I can only imagine how big the the training data was. Uh oh. Hopefully that doesn't affect uh, the memory. All right, so we've created three tables, right? And uh, we've filled it with uh, uh, information. So now let's go ahead and use natural language to query these tables. Right. So let's see, who owns the most movies? Very, you know, So this, this would be a group by um, type of query, um, group by top one. So let's see, let's see who, let's see what it figures out. And what's the result? So it gives us the query and an explanation for the query. Now let's see if we can actually do it with the results in memory. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, John Doe. It, it did give us the output. <coughs> What is the most popular movie? Uh, what's the most popular movie? Let's see if it understands that context. How can we turn that into sequel? All right, so just a group by. All right, so it's in user movies, all right. Let's see what the result is. What is the result? I want to know the result. I'm not just trying to create the queries. So it shows us the, the values in user movies. All right, now it shows us uh, representation. Okay, so those are the most popular because they have the most, uh, the highest uh, count. So not only does it give you the queries, it also explains what they mean. This is great. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, so what? All right, so who 
Hutchins, Seahorse, Twins. So let's see. Let's see if it understands the context. Like, how can it quantify that? Sell it. What the AI thinks? Who has the most movies? Imagine an entire database <coughs> within the, the memory of this uh, this AI, and you can ask it these types of questions, and it will think of the query. I, I just it's just crazy. Um, it's just crazy. And it's not just getting the data back, it's the context of the data, which is it's just so crazy to me. So, this is like, um, I mean, this, this example, um, this could be great for uh, so many things, right? Like, uh, there's the learning aspect, interactive learning. This is crazy for that, right? Uh, rapid prototyping. Um, uh, uh, natural language um, to SQL queries. Um, you know, writing very uh, advanced uh, queries um, uh, as a as a springboard for that. Uh, let's see. Let's actually write a query and then um, let's uh, make a modification to that. So, uh, write a query that um, returns all meaningful views for a given. User. All right, so this it's a basic query, right? So it should be uh, one or two joins, um, nothing crazy. All right, let's see if we can get rid of that um, um, that where clause. Okay, did both joins. Okay, perfect. I was gonna try to get rid of the second the, the where and just use a join because that's also feasible. Okay, so let's uh, let's add a table hint. I don't know what kind of table hint it's going to think of. Man, what table hint are you going to use? Oh, with table hint. Uh oh. Oh, it's a placeholder. Okay. For scan. Interesting. Wow. 
got no luck. This even understands that context. No luck being a table hint. All right, so so there you have it. Um, you can create virtual tables in ChatGPT's memory and write queries and get results from them. So you can do rapid prototyping in ChatGPT, and you can do um, tutorials in ChatGPT as well. Uh, and it also gives you an explanation and alternatives. Like, this is so powerful, so powerful, especially for beginners. Um, it's, it, it really is, um, it really is the future. In the next five to 10 years, it's gonna shake up the entire landscape. Um, they're sitting on a gold mine, uh, OpenAI is. It's, it's the future. Um, we're gonna be more prompt engineers than software engineers. And there are gonna be more of those. and. Uh, and we haven't even talked about um, stable diffusion, where you're going to be a prompt engineer for the design side, and you're going to be a prompt engineer for the, the coding side. And then um, maybe you'll have a couple of like super, um, um, like super crazy architect type people who know the code in and out and can do uh, optimizations that um, the learning model can't, uh, the large language model can't rather. So it's, this is, this is wild. My, my brain can't even comprehend the, the ramifications of how this will change the entire landscape. But enough rambling. That's it for me today. Have a wonderful night.